I got knocked out one time, like trying to jump up and get the ball and then landed on my head. Were you out cold? Um, yeah, I was out for. I remember waking up on the board, coming down the race, going inside. I think I was out for like a minute. Wow. And six seconds or something. Wow. How many concussions did you have? Uh, recorded. Yeah, it was probably like nine or ten. Wow. Recorded. But yeah. yeah. And I think, like, the thing for me was, like, kind of after this one, it took less and less to feel, mm. yeah, to, like, be concussed. And that's where, yeah, like, it was kind of, easily, like, yeah. it became actually, uh, like, really troubling because I was, like, worried about it. I was, like, freaky. Like, if I keep doing this, like, what am I going to be like when I'm 45? Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but, I mean, you... There's, Bro, I, I had one, yeah, too. no, I had a bad one, I guess it's now two years ago, against Missouri, and I slid, and uh, safety came down, and I was already on the ground for maybe, I mean, it felt like an eternity, maybe a full second or two, and he just, you know, flagrant targeting right at my head, and knocked me out of the game, and I mean, I had headaches, and you know, concussion-like symptoms for a long time after that, weeks, months. Yeah. It would be like every few days just have headaches and, I mean, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. I, I got into a lot of the, the supplementation and stuff for it. You know, a lot of the DHA, fish oils. Um, man, I was, I was doing the hyperbaric chamber stuff. I was doing... Uh, float pods like i was getting into it there's even uh light therapies a lot um iv glutathione i don't know if you've tried any of the any of the recovery methods for it well i, I did a, a lot of work with like a i think it's the vestibular it's like yeah so that, that was my concussion it was yeah. a vestibular concussion so yeah. i worked with a, a vestibular physio okay i did and, the same uh, exact thing yeah i did a lot of like movement through motion and focusing on things on the wall it jacked up your balance right yeah and yeah. like uh, I would work on like a, a metronome. Mm -hmm. So I'd start off real slow because I had to focus on like a dot on a wall. Yeah. And then move my head like at a certain tempo. I um, did the same exact thing. And While I remember the first time doing it, like feeling like I was going to yes. throw up. Yes. Um, so I worked with her for, gee, that would have been like three months. Yeah. Um, I did something similar to that. Yeah. And that's kind of where I laid a lot of my focus and then through that I kind of had to manage my heart rate and stuff with working out yeah. um, and then gradually build back up because I had a real issue with migraines um, and if I would exert myself too hard I'd just get like a migraine I'd feel like I'm going to throw up yeah. and I'd lose uh, my vision so yeah like I just worked with her for I think it was like yeah 12 weeks and then kind of got back to a stage where I was really confident that I was in a better place to, to go back and play. But even when you're confident, that sounds pretty traumatic. Like even the rehab and being able to get back to that spot, did yeah. that affect how, I don't know, either of you, how you played the game? Well, if you want to play at a high level, it can't, right? Yeah. But a lot of it is you have headaches for so long that you expect it to come on. Yeah. I don't know if you, you felt the same no, thing, I, but I would wake today, up and I'd be like waiting still, for my headache. I kind of, I'm like waiting for the next one. Yeah. And oh, still. And that's because, like, but that's just because of where I was, you know, and, yeah. like, the expectation that I had. And even now, like, I think it sometimes, but I know I'm fine. Um, but, yeah, like, that's just, I don't know, the product of the game. and Yeah. No, I mean, it's it's a tough deal, man. I don't know if you've ever gone through anything like that. Uh, I, I mean, I've had serious injuries, right? Yeah. Like, I've broken my leg, multiple sur uh, shoulders, surgeries, and... De definitely like affects your mental capabilities to come back yeah. but especially something like a head where it's traumatic you yeah. see yourself getting knocked out um, i think too like when i first like because i had three in uh i think it was like a a four-week period or something and then after that the club was like no we're not playing three in a like, four-week period you need to right. go how do they like, let you come back and play after the first two a lot of it was because i was like i want to play told them yeah, yeah. um were you feeling fine or were you still feeling symptoms? Uh, I don't know. I think like I kind of convinced myself that I was feeling fine, even yeah. though I probably yeah. you know, wasn't. Uh, but then also like a lot of it at the start is like you can't make a decision 
when you're in that moment because I knew myself that like I wasn't in the mental state that I knew that like is my norm like is my normal so like I didn't want to make a rash decision say like to retire because I knew that like if I could see the people that I needed to see and they would give me the advice I needed that I could make a more calculated decision that wasn't based on emotion and if I had the facts where like you know what I'm going to be okay or this is I can make this better then I can be better placed to make a decision. Yeah. And that's in, that was where I was at. That, that's the scary thing because it's so on you about like how yeah. you feel, right? And even if you feel great in the moment, it's how you feel in the next 10 years. And you see all these retired yeah. athletes and how it's affecting them now, right? Yeah. With like a broken leg, you know it's healed, right? It was something like a concussion. You come back, and to your point, you can come back worse and easier. Yeah. Well, that's the scary part too where we're – we're in the infancy stage with the brain research. Mm -hmm. And when I was going through my process, I'm asking the neuro guys. And I mean, Vandy has some of the top guys in the country in terms of uh, concussion research. A lot of them are even uh, contracted by the NFL. So like the head concussion guys, and they, they run the whole operation. And I'm having these you know doctor's appointments with them on a weekly basis. And I'm asking them these questions. And a lot of them, they don't even have the answers yet. They're, they're frank yeah. about it. They said, you know, we're in the beginning of this research. A lot of it's a feel thing. You know, there's there's no way to measure it. You can't do you can't do an MRI the same way you could do for an ACL and see exactly what's going on. Yeah, it's how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So it's tough. And then they're they're kind of conservative with the recovery stuff, is which is why I was so proactive about it. You know, I kept researching, researching. There's got to be something I could do. So that's how I got into the blue light glasses. Even to this day, at night, wear the blue light glasses. Um, again, like the supplements I was talking to you about, and something that I haven't tried yet, but. I want to get into is stem cells. Mm -hmm. So I think one of my, uh, so my dad's a doctor and, and, and a guy he knows out here in LA, his son, I believe works for the NFL or does research for the NFL with concussion. Uh, and, and he works in a lab with mice. He basically gives them concussions with a hammer, rings their bell, right? And then uh, injects them with their own stem cells. And he's doing that research for, for the league essentially. Yeah. And seeing what he can do with that. And, he, and according to him, he's seeing great results. Yeah. And so what he suggested to me was we would take a sample out. And then uh, what you want to do is, I believe, inject yourself within like 48 hours or something. Such that it can reach the blood-brain barrier. Um, and you know, I don't want to say you go back to baseline. But he's saying you're, you're almost as good as you were before. Yeah. Which is as, as crazy as it sounds. Um, he's... Right, he's kind of biased, but yeah, there's some crazy research coming out, man. It's something to consider. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the yeah. next kind of twenty years, right? Especially when you have like the the past players and and tracking how they're going mm. post retirement. Or post is there the same kind of outrage in Australia with the brain stuff as as there is here? Uh, with the lawsuits and you know. well, there is at the moment actually. Like, there's a lot of past players kind of coming back now who are actually really struggling with um with mental issues, and there's been a couple of players who have unfortunately passed away and and they've donated their brains to research and yeah. it's come back that they've had really severe forms of cte um but How like does the league ha handle that does the league try to help it out or sweep it on the rug a little bit i guess because there's so much unknown about it like no i don't think anyone knows what to do and like the league probably doesn't know how to handle it um nor do the players and the past players that are affected by it um and that's i guess the scariest part of it all is the unknown. Um, and we live in a world where we need to know everything and yeah. feel comfortable. 